We are asked to find the inverse z-transform of z over z plus 1. So for questions like this, there's always two ways. There's the easy way we can simply use um, the table, or we can construct a power series. And we should get exactly the same answer. So I'll, I'll answer it both ways and show you that the answers are the same. So using the table, we simply look for z over z plus a in the table. And the closest I can find is that, z over z minus a. So we have that with a equals minus 1. Because you've got z plus 1, so it's like saying z minus minus 1. So we simply take the inverse z transform from the table. So it's a to the power n u of n. So we can say x to the power n, that's what we're being asked for, is equal to minus 1 to the power n u of n. And that's, that's the final answer, unless you want to write it out as a sequence. It's minus 1 to the power 0 minus 1 to the power 1, minus 1 to the power 2, minus 1 to the power 3, etc. So that's, that's my answer using the table. I could have also written it out as a power series. I could have said that x of z can be rewritten as 1 over 1 plus z to the minus 1. And that's the same as saying a power series where we have minus z to the minus 1 to the power k from 0 to infinity. And I can rewrite that as minus 1 times z to the minus k. And that looks just like the definition of the z-transform. So I can simply say x of n, because remember, this, this now is the definition of the z-transform. So I can extract x of n straight from there. So I can say x of n equals minus 1 to the power k. And I multiply by a unit step just to demonstrate that k starts from 0. And that's our final answer. And it's exactly the same as what we would have found if we were to use the table.